Hi everyone, let's do lead code 141, link list cycle. So we're given the head of a link list and we want to determine if the link list has a cycle in it. So let's look at an example to understand this better. Uh, let's take this link list. So this is the head of the list. If we keep traversing this link list, we can see that we're gonna go back to two and there's gonna be a cycle, which is never gonna be ending. Uh, there are various ways to solve this problem and actually one of them could be a very simple one where we have a, a hash set. We can use this hash set to store the nodes that we have visited. So let's say we start here, we are at this node, we're gonna add it to our hash set. Now we are here, we're gonna add two. So these are actual nodes, so these are not values because there might be duplicates. Uh, we add zero, we add minus four. And each time we add a node, we check if it's already in the hash set. Now we're gonna add this two again, but because this is already in the hash set, we can stop and return true. Uh, it means that there is a cycle in our link list. The time complexity for this algorithm is big O of N and space complexity is big O of N as well because potentially we could have each node of the link list stored in this hash set. There is a better solution for this problem, uh, which is the one that you usually want to use during an interview. It's called Floyd's Tortoise and Higher Algorithm. This algorithm works by using two pointers, a slow pointer and a fast pointer. So let me show you how this is gonna work with an example. So both of our pointers are gonna start at our head. So slow is gonna be here and fast is gonna be here as well. At each iteration, we're going to move slow by one position and fast by two positions. Let's say slow is here, fast is gonna go here. Let's assume there was no cycle and this was the end of the list. If that was the case, at the next iteration, slow would be at this node, fast would be at null, and when fast reaches null, it means that there was no cycle and we can return false. But what if uh, there was a cycle? So if there was a cycle, this is how the next iteration will look like. Fast is gonna move by two. So it's gonna go at four and then at two. So fast is not going to be here. And slow is gonna be here. We are gonna move these two again now. Next iteration. So let's move slow again. Slow will be here and fast is going to move by two. So fast is actually gonna be at the same pointer as slow. If these two pointers reach the same node, it means that there is a cycle in our link list and we want to return true. So as you can see, the algorithm is pretty simple and clever. This is a common algorithm that you should know for your technical interviews. The time complexity for this algorithm is big O of n and memory complexity is big o of one we are just using two pointers so there is no extra memory involved okay let's try some code now so we need to initialize our two pointers slow and fast and they're both gonna start at the head of the link list next thing we need is a while loop so while fast is not null and fast next is not null we want to move the slow pointer by one position and the fast pointer by two positions. At each iteration, we want to check if slow is equals to fast. If they are, we simply return true. And if we get out of this while loop and this condition has not become true, it means that uh, there is no cycle in the list, so we can return false. So let's see if this works. As you can see, it does work. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe. Also check out my YouTube channel, you're gonna find many more lead code questions and other videos that I hope you're gonna find useful to prepare for your technical interviews. Thank you.